What's up, guys? It is day 19. We have two more days until we finish this 21 day journey. And I want to hop on and I want to encourage you today. I feel like everything but the kitchen sink has been thrown at me in these last 21 days and we're still standing. It just shows how strong and resilient you are. Listen, my scripture today is Isaiah 41, 13, and I'm paraphrasing, but it goes something like this. For I am the Lord, your God. I will take you by the right hand. Do not fear for I will help you. And I love this scripture for this 21 day journey. Do you know God takes you by the hand? Do you know that he is so real and so present that he is a present help in your time of need? And you may be watching this video and you may say, I need, I need help. Like I, I can't do this on my own. I want to encourage you to know that first, don't fear. And then secondly, God is real. He has a hand that holds those that need it. And I have felt the hand of God in this last 21 days. We're only on day 19, guys, but I'm so excited to announce that we have um, a person to sew into. If you are just watching and tuning in, go all the way back to day one and then watch all the way up to this point. But yesterday it was really pressed on my heart to sew into someone else because commanding our joy looks like giving. It looks like giving even when we have a need. And so I want to encourage you. I just want to reiterate that principle. And so yesterday I said, you know what? I need nominations. I need people to send me inboxes. So thank, thank you for all of you who have sent me inboxes and just nominating your friends and, and your loved ones that you would want to have this amazing surprise. And so we do have an individual, a woman in Delaware. I will not, not release her name. Um, it's none of our y'all business, <laughs> but we do have someone and um, we're going to send a masseuse to her house and um, let her have a, a deep tissue massage. And then hopefully that just, I don't know, my prayer is that it just blesses her and that she sees seen by God and seen and loved by others. And so I encourage you to do the same thing. I have an amazing um, masseuse that travels in the Delaware uh, local PA area. And so if you want to sew into the life of someone and, and send her to their house, let me know and I'll send you her information. Anyway, today is about consistency. I really wanted to hop on and just say, listen, we're almost there. Do you know how many people quit before they ever experience the promise of God because they get weary in doing well? So my second scripture is do not get weary in doing well. And, you know, there's something about persevering. There's something about holding God to his word. There's something powerful about consistency. And until we're consistent, consistently doing what God is telling us to do, we won't experience the breakthroughs. But I want to encourage you, even if you stop, get back on the horse, get back on where every day you stopped. If you stopped on day five, tomorrow's day six. You can do it. I've been consistently riding for the last 19 days. It's been amazing. I feel like I'm waking up physically um, emotionally, my emotions are coming into alignment and there are days, guys, I've been really transparent with you guys on this journey. There are simply days that I'm like, what is going on? But those are the days that I hold on to the foundational skill and the discipline of being consistent. And even though I may not have answers, even though I, I, I maybe feel like the enemy is throwing things at me to d distract me, to deter me, to push me back into a low place, we have to refuse. We have to refuse to go back to those places. And so every day gets better. And every day I am victorious in this thing. And I want you to have the same testimony that I have, that I am victorious over depression. Depression will not be the determining factor or the legacy in my life. And so I, I just pray that prayer over you right now, that depression, that cycles of anxiety, cycles of worrying. Sorry, my hand, I like to move my hands. Cycles of depression, cycles of worrying, cycles of anxiety, these cycles that come to take us out, to take our mind, to take our joy. I declare being broken right now in you. In Jesus name we pray. Listen, it's day 19. Stay on it. Stay with it. We have two more days to celebrate. Love you guys. Bless you.